Hey guys, it's Captain Casey. Welcome back to our second episode with our playthrough Let's Play Warlock Mastery of the Arcane. Uh, sorry about the two week period in between. I just moved all the way from Europe back home to sunny California and I'm finally getting settled in. So I just want to continue this series and keep it running. And to join us, I have one of my good friends, Mr. Stewart, Odd Thomas, however I can refer to you. Would you like to introduce yourself or just giggle in the, the microphone? Uh, so no. You can introduce yourself while I load our game up. So we are on, let's play, let's see, Undead, let's play turn 15. I think that's what we're on. Yep. <clears throat> it's been a while since I even played this one, so I'm not sure. I've been playing other games too. Uh, pretty much a larger map with the Undead, so I've learned a lot through that. And it's going to give me an idea what to do here. Sounds like you just fought something. You can hear my game? Yeah. At least I heard that. It sounded like Firestorm. No. Just yeah. mages fighting. Mm. So yeah, Brian also picked up the game and he's playing now. So we're pretty much waiting for the expansion. Or not expansion, but update so that we could play a multiplayer game. That would be really cool. So I can show Brian just how it f what it feels like to lose. <laughs> That's typical. You've never beaten me in a strategy game before. Oh. Um, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have a chance in uh, StarCraft either. But either way, let's let's get an update here and get back to where we were. Last time, um, we were kind of deciding if we're going to go fight this uh, rival mage near us. I think he's the... Who is he? Uh, El Piritster? I forget this guy's name, Elpiritster the Eternal. Um, he's pretty much getting, he's fighting Tendril, Son of Vendril, those guys, um, up in the, the north. But I've realized these, the new update that they did with the, uh, the main cities, they're so powerful. Like if you don't have a really good, decent, upgraded size army, you really just lose your units over and over again. So we're not, I'm just going to focus on trying to expand around him and just keeping him shut off while they, the other two fight each other, so. Either way, I need to see what, where we're at. I'm going to move all my units back. All that fun stuff. So Brian, what uh, race are you playing? I'm um, playing human. Let's we have to leave now. Let's move back. Oh, somebody's leaving. Welcome and goodbye to the stream. <laughs> Alright, and just a reminder of last time too guys, we're trying to keep this dude right here, um, our the imp advisor alive. I want to buff this dude up, I want to get him incredibly strong, and so he's kind of, he almost lost all of his health, he only has like 3 health left, no 8, 8 out of 30, so we're going to move him, um, actually we'll let him rest in this city, and hopefully he'll just get his, all of his points back. Oh yeah, we have, we have our scouts here. And just before I move the scouts, I want to show over here. The idea is, since these two guys are on the east side of the map, we're going to just expand to the west. I really want to take this uh, holy ground area over here so we can get some really strong units out of that and then start pushing to the east. But the idea is expand to the west. Um, once we get kind of a good foothold over here, then we'll be able to start pounding these guys in the east. And so we want to make that happen very quickly. And so in the meantime, we're going to send our bats just to fill this area up over here so we have a better idea of what's going on without getting too much trouble. See there's some earth elementals, in which case they can't attack flying, which is great. Just fly around them, no problems. Alright, and it looks like uh, this Elpirister, whatever guy, he hasn't really expanded at least to the south yet. There's not really much um, areas to the north of him either, so we'll just have to see from our scouting just exactly what he's up to. Alright, we're going to move our skeleton warriors back as well, see if we can move these guys back. I really did want to try and take this, but really these capital cities um, can do a lot of damage. See if I can click on it. At least let's, let's look at our capital city. 
Um, let's give us a damage. Just give me a damage report. I can't tell. In which case, I'll have to look that up to make sure, remind myself uh, just what the damage does. Maybe Brian knows. Not a clue. Not a clue. <laughs> so that's okay. I forgive you. And let's see, what's our last unit? Um, we'll move our arch archers up here in the forest just so they can uh, defend anyone that comes in. Let's take a look, see what happens. It's crazy how quickly they went to war. It looks like you have some upgraded units there too. <coughs> let's see. Construction's complete. We have our pig farm up, so we have a good source of food. Hmm? And we have some rogues coming out of nowhere. No idea where they're coming from. But it's kind of weird. And let's see, like I said last time, uh, it's really important, I think, just to always have units being pushed out of some of your cities. So we have the opportunity here to continue pushing out, and I think we should definitely get another settler and start uh, getting more towns. The more towns we can get, I think just the better we'll be able to hold ourselves. And we just actually just got this town in the north, so that's good. So we'll do that. We'll get some settlers going. I'm going to focus most of my units here and head to the east and start dispatching like of everything. Just because I feel like it. We'll go in between these dudes. See what's going on. One thing I like doing is trying to scout around my enemies so I can take anything um, that might be near them before they actually scout it. And check this out. Man, this map is so small. <laughs> so literally these guys are right next to each other and they don't really have much space. So we are in the better position on the map. We have a much better position. So that's good. So Brian, are you going to be taking off? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. What have you been learning since you st first started playing? Uh, pink team is OP. Pink team is OP. <laughs> <laughs> is that Tendril? No, it's Rock or whatever his name is. Ah, oh, that dude, yeah. He's usually always getting his, his butt kicked whenever I watch it. So let's get all of our guys over here. Don't even. I'm not even worried about that guy because uh, he's just gonna be. They're just gonna be busy fighting. Hopefully, they're not that dumb of AI where they just fight each other the whole game. And don't bother me. They're not. The, the AI is not that bad, dude. I mean, they're pretty much on me. Mm -hmm. Well, the AI can only like go so far, you know, as a as a player. Most of the time, like in older games, the AI would just uh, it would just have to cheat. It would just pr like mass produce so, so much more quickly than anyone else could. Okay, so we're gonna do our own crusades to the east. I mean west. <laughs> it's, that's not funny. It's not, I wasn't joking. And we'll end our turn. See what's happening. Yeah, that, I can't believe how quickly this guy is going fighting. It looks like he has some upgraded units. Actually, I really wouldn't be surprised if this NPC player is already gone this next round. His capital's already... Well, it has 76 health left, so that's not too bad. Let's take a look. Sipu over here. So again, uh, for those of you watching, I'm really hoping that we'll be able to continue videos like this. I know um, now that we're back and settled here in California, I want to always play games that aren't necessarily too popular, like new games, indie games, kind of like this. Um, and just be able to show people what, you know, how well of a game they are and just how you can enjoy it so we'll see what happens we have the rogues attacking our city down here which be easy to take care of I think I can even get my imp over there get some experience off of these dudes
boots. I think too there was another um, DLC that came out since I was moving, which was like uh, the serpent one. Do you remember what it's called, Brian? No, it's not the Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure what it was called. I'm not really sure. I know it's something to do with serpents. But I was laughing about that because it. What happened was that was all that content was already in the game. So one of my friends who plays pirated versions of games, he was playing this game and he was like, well, yeah, there's all these serpent things and all that. I'm like, no, that's not out yet. So I think it was kind of a, it's a good DLC, but I think it's kind of cheap that they charge like three bucks for not even really a new hero or anything, just a couple new buildings and units. But hopefully they'll have some better DLC in the future. We'll see. Actually, we should be having some settlers pop out next turn. That'll be good. Let's get all these guys down here. I kind of feel like I'm making the wrong move going west because that other capital city is just on the fringe of being destroyed. But I think in the long run, this will be um, the better choice. Hoping. We'll leave these guys here. We'll let them uh, rest up. If I can click on them. Rest it. And we'll have these guys guard. Pretty good. Looks good. This is actually, I'm surprised, you know, being a smaller map and everything, I don't think there's really much going on. At least that I can see. And that was quick. We have our settlers in. Question. So where's the city gonna go? And I'm thinking it can't fit there, it's too close to the other, but whatever. Ooh, look at that damage, only two to the vampires, that's ridiculous. So like I said last time, vampires, they do death magic, so your uh, skeletons are pretty much immune to them, they don't do any damage. As for the imp, he's not immune. In which case I'm gonna move him to the back a little bit so he doesn't get smacked. And archers. Let's start poking at these guys. Boink. And one of our cities expanded too, so we can build. Did you ever get that uh, building stuff worked out, Brian? Yes. Yeah, I kind of didn't like that. Like you can only build every once in a while, whenever. Whenever. Yeah, only when uh, the cities grow. So it's not it's not like a typical like real time strategy where you're building whenever you feel like building. Um, the economy kind of restricts you in that, so you can you have to make really kind of I guess important choices. I would say. Mhm. Mm so the choices are more meaningful. In which case, I need to decide where I'm going to build uh, this other city. And the one thing is I need to have enough hexes between me and this other city as well. You can't build them directly next to each other. Uh, and these hills actually I think would be a good spot. So the idea is, at least with my cities, I want to put them in positions to where they're, they're harder to siege. You know, if they do get attacked. And it really doesn't matter, you know, how close you have to cities. I think it's, as, well as, as long as you're expanding they're close enough together, I think it just gives you a stronger economy, so it's useful. But everybody has their own playing styles and preferences. Alright, let's go. And since I have so many warriors, I want to start making some, uh, some more archers and get those guys out. And we can just run up to these vampires. Do I have any other ones? I have these guys here too, but I'll just do that for now. And I'm just going to keep these archers here, just in case. You never know what these guys might be up to. Um, let's get some treasure. So what's, is there anything you found, Brian? Like, uh, in terms of regards to treasure or anything? I don't know about any treasure. I haven't found any treasure. Ooh. 
gold mines. Gold yeah. mines. Well, pretty much that. like any of the the buildings that spawn monsters, like NPCs. Um, I think mm -hmm. some of them specific ones will actually give you units. So like a lot of times when I've captured graveyards, they give me like a powerful unit, right? Just out in the way. Uh huh. So yeah, I found a Minotaur temple. For some reason they like to oh palace Minotaur palace. Okay. It was spawning Minotaurs. Who does spawn Minotaurs? Right. Well, I can build Minotaurs because of it. Not oh, okay, it spawn that's it. different. These are actually like, if you find bears, there's a bear den. And you can destroy the bear den, it's like a city, almost. I'm playing, playing on Impossible, bro. Come on. Not like you, probably playing no, on I'm the easiest I'm playing on Impossible as well, so. Smallest map, Impossible, <laughs> two other mages. Mm. So our capital city is expanded as well. Um, we want, I want to get... See, upgraded units is good, but at the same time I want to get more powerful units, and I think I'm going to go with vampires. The sooner I have some vampires, I think better. And we can afford the upkeep costs as well, so let's get the vampire mansion going. Love me some vampires. Not really, though. I hate vampires in real life. So we're going to run up, start smacking on these dudes, because they can't do a thing to my undead units, so. Blah. They sound so weird, the vampires. They don't even sound sophisticated. They just go, blah. Blah, blah. And the same ones. Man, I really want some, some more action going on here. We got the Kraken. Dragon's Nest, so gotta be careful. The one thing I hate is when I lose bats because of their sea serpents and they do ranged attacks. And they just one shot bats all the time. And I think, you know what, I think I'm gonna use my imp and I'm gonna tap those, uh, hopefully finish off those vampires. We'll see. No, I forgot they only do like two damage. It's alright. And I don't want to waste any of my spell points. We'll save that Shadow Bolt for someone useful. And we're going to continue. Actually, we should only go one more step because there's Serpent still over here. This Fire and Lone Tool is going to be a pain to kill. Alright. Oh. Like I said. That dude... Just one shot at right. my skeletons. I'm right, out of here, bro. Take it easy, dude. Respect. All right, later. So, hopefully, look forward to having you, you in my other episodes. Request, my lord. Mm hmm. Really? Especially when we do some multiplayer. So, let's see. We got the market up. We just lost units. That was my mistake. Um. Should have known with these mountain passes, even with that, these guys have enough range to really do some damage, and we just lost a whole unit. Which wasn't really smart. Especially in Impossible, you don't want to lose units just in, you know, for no reason. So we have our city to the north, and I'm going to build a market so I can get the bat for it. We want to put up some defensive buildings, and I think that's probably what he's doing. Yeah, he's building a magic tower. Um, which won't be good. He'll be able to reach over here and actually do damage to this castle without me being able to do anything to him. So hopefully we're not too late. Um, and I can put these, my skeletons, actually in the jungle a little bit closer so we can start... Uh, uh, we can't hit it when it's being built, which I think is ridiculous. We should be able to build a city. A new quest, my lord. We have our other uh, archers that came out, which is good. We're gonna have these dudes just smack them. And see, I don't... Now that the fire elemental is there, I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to attack through this part as well. And if I do kill these guys off, he'll probably one-shot me again. Yeah. But here's what we're gonna do. He has 40 health. We have a spell that's ready, and we're going to use it. 
I know he has a lot resistances. Let's check out the resistance. You can click on him. Right click. Death magic immune. Immune to death magic. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. So we're in a we're in a bind here. He's probably gonna one shot my skeletal warriors right there. I'm gonna let this dude rest. And we're just gonna have to bide our time and figure out how we can get rid of that dude. In the meantime, we're gonna make a city over here. At least try to. So let's see, we have our new archers. We're gonna move them east or west as well. And these guys are gonna are defend right here. While we wait for to see what that fire elemental does. The cool thing is we already see how small this map is. Not that big at all. Get some more money. And yeah, it looks like we found the portal, which is cool because this is cut off. We have found a portal to another so I don't world. think uh, these continents are attached, which is great, because that means we can totally just take this whole area. It's ours. It's all ours. It's cool. So I think we're in a good position. Um, in that sense, we're going to end the turn. I think we'll do one more turn. That'll be it for this episode. I just want to make something so that people could realize that we're still here. We'll still do episodes. It's just that we moved and it took two weeks to really kind of get settled in. My lord, one member of wow. the great council has fallen. This changes the game completely. Dang. And that does too. That's lost. That's that guy. I was gonna check last turn too. Oh my gosh. So now we know a short game if these guys are so close they just destroy each other. Um, and that's kind of a bummer because this guy gets his whole whole economy. The good thing is I think he really doesn't have much space. I mean he has down there. But the rest is just lava. So he's kind of limited where he can expand. And we're going to control all of this over here. So we'll do one last turn and then we'll call it an episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know we didn't really get to cover that much with it. But I think in the future we'll we'll do some better uh, better episodes for sure. So hopefully next turn we'll get the new city. My skeletons are still alive, thank goodness. We're going to run for our lives. <coughs> and I really just don't know what we're going to do with this guy. He's immune to death magic. I don't have enough units to really take him on 100%. Um, and that means my vampires will be completely useless as well. Either way, we gotta make up for those warriors that were killed. Hopefully when this one expand, this this city grows, we'll build another graveyard. Um, so we can pop units out of this one as well. So We're just gonna have to figure things out. We're gonna rest, let everybody rest up before we get involved put these guys on defense. Let's move them one more just so I can take a look what's going on here. Okay. We know Serpent's Nest is still there. We have our bats coming over. So there's a rogue's den as well right behind that. But nothing really much else. And I'll send my bats for the treasure. Alright. Let's move our archers a little bit more in position. And we'll call that. So we'll end this turn. Um, and then we'll make our city really quick just so I can do that for this episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to keep up. There's a lot of other guys doing videos too. So I suggest watching them and seeing how they play as well. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to do this on a like twice a week basis in terms of uploading soon. So let's end the turn. Oh, this guy thinks that I'm so easy to be pushed over. 435 gold. Oh, it's war. It's war. That'll be good. So next time we'll say we're going to go to war and... Oh. This fire elemental is really just going to ruin everything for me. Alright. So we have vampires coming in. We have started war. And so next time, guys, get ready for hopefully us to take out that fire elemental while at war. And we'll see what happens. So take it easy, guys. Captain Casey, we'll talk to you guys later.